So um, after a while, we, we, you know, we, we got to the point where we sort of began exhausting the actual amount of um, food, food supplies that we had um, within proximity of where we were. And so there was a, um, another place that the old timers went to, 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 to plant foods. And this was their main area that they farmed. And it was called Sandy Gully. And Sandy Gully, if you thought that my grandparents' property had a lot of fruits and vegetables and it was abundant, abundant with, with all type of foods, Sandy Gully was like the, the apex of that. It had everything. And not only did it have it, but my, my grandfather had property down there. All the, the cousins and uncles, everybody that lived up in Rock Hall and the old timers had all gone down to Sandy Gully over the last 50, however amount of years, and they'd farmed the land down there. And then what happened is that they got older and they retired. And then the next generation never actually, um, they had no interest in farming. So all that land for miles and miles and miles filled with all this, this produce just sat there and uh, the fruits would, would grow and ripen, and rot and nobody cared. So we decided, well, let's go down to Sandy Gully. And so we actually, you know, and Sandy Gully is not that close. And so, you know, we, you know, you know, it was pretty several miles away, not just like five miles away, it's like 20 miles away. And I forgot how far it was, but it was very far away from where we were. And so what we decided to do was, um, you know, we, we actually um, ran. So it's, you know, we would run for a good walk and then we'd run and run down the hill and, and you know, you, you get to the entrance San Diego reasonably quickly, but then it extends beyond that all the way. You can follow from San Diego and if you keep going, you can end up in practically in another parish. And so what we did is we actually, um, part of the way there down to San Diego, sometimes we, we'd hop a truck. So literally like a Mack truck. Yes, now you picture your eight-year-old child and your 10-year-old child get, hop, hop in a Mack truck climb while it's driving and climbing up on it to get inside of there. That would freak you out. And, and But we were fearless and we actually it would hop the truck and the guy would sometimes look out and see us and it was kind of a typical thing if they didn't care. And, um, and so, so, so we'd hop the truck and then the hard part of it is is that what a lot of people don't realize is getting off the truck is sometimes harder because to get off the truck you can't just jump off the truck if you jump off the truck you, um, and you land you'll just face plant so you have to run with the truck run 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 your little legs and then you let go and you keep running and that's how you got off the truck and so when we would get to different parts of sandy gully um i would be the climber so if there is a, a coconut tree i would climb the coconut tree and it's it takes a per type of skill sets to get up to a coconut tree. Now I'm not talking about having a harness and all that stuff. I'm talking about, you know, just hugging the tree and climbing the tree with no safety gear at all, getting to the top. And what was interesting when you got to the top of the coconut tree for the very few people who have done this, is that when you get to the top of it, coconut tree, some of the branches, the, the immediate closest one that you reach for, they're actually, they're not, they're not on there very solid sometimes. If you step on them and you miscalculate, that thing will come off and you will fall. And I'm not talking about these little short Florida coconut trees. I'm talking about Jamaica Sandy Gully where the trees have been watered every day. They are tall. The coconuts are not these little tiny things. They're these big, huge things that if they fall on you, they're gonna kill you. And so, you know, I have to climb up there and I have to nimbly get beyond those kind of a rotted branches that's gonna come off. And then when you get up into the top up there and you're sitting on the top of the coconut tree, there are usually bees in there, which means that you can get stung, which would be terrible because where are you gonna go? You're literally just sitting in the top of a tree where there's nowhere to go other than death. And then what you would do, you'd start kicking the coconuts off and they'd fall and people have to get out of the way. And you know, then you climb down the tree. You, you know, we had no, we have no machetes, no, no instruments of any kind. So we had to take the coconut and break them on a rock and break them open and husk them open. And then you know, that's how we drink, drink from that. And you know, it's sort of like crazy how it was Lord of the Flies a little bit in in, in some sense. And we were, 
we were out there and like, you know, we would climb a mango tree and sit in the mango tree. Or if, you know, if we we're gonna eat a banana, we would not go to a store to buy a banana. We'd see a banana right on the tree and we'd run. It's like a race to get to the banana tree. and We'd slide down the gully on our butts and then jump because it was kind of at an angle. So we'd sl go down, kind of grab the, coat, the, the banana tree and go down. And by the time the banana tree was down, we we're already on and we we're eating already. So Sandy Gully was th that kind of a place, and we went there quite a lot um, over, over that timeline there. And um, it, it's, it was just a very, very interesting time. And I'd like to tell you a lot more about that in our next episode. I'm gonna break this up in maybe two or three episodes about it.